Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cookie it up shorts. I have the milk chocolate, the double chocolate. And salted butterscotch, which sounds the best of all. <laughs> it does sound the best. I'm looking forward to that one the most. These were pricey. They were $4.99 a piece, $5 a piece uh, at the fresh market wow. for 4.9 ounces or 140 grams. Uh, so, um, it says good things come in small packages. Cookie it up shorts are small in stature, but huge in shortbread deliciousness. Tender and buttery, these delightful creations are loaded with simple, wholesome ingredients and are free from added preservatives. You will soon discover that sharing shorts is a very tall order. These are from Ontario, Canada. Uh, so the milk chocolate, they're they're peanut free uh buttery bite size shortbread cookies is all it says uh, there's about nine or ten of them in two cookies are 160 calories that's of the milk chocolate and uh yeah four and a half servings and the serving size is two so they are small bite size cookies let me get this one right here you want a half or you want a <laughs> mm. See what that's a buttery mm -hmm. um, shortbread cookie. Mm -hmm. The buttery flavor in there is excellent. What's funny is that the chocolate for me didn't make any difference at all. No, it's just like a buttery shortbread. It you might as well not have the chocolate yeah, in Yeah, it could have <laughs> not had any of those chocolate chips, and that's hard to believe because they're all on, on mm -hmm. the front and the top and the bottom. Um, they could have not put those in there at all, and you would not have missed them because yep. you don't taste it in the least. No, it's all butter and sugar. It's all butter. It's just shortbread. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. There, it's a very good cookie. But it's though. delicious. Yeah. It is I agree delicious. The chocolate doesn't stand out. That's weird <laughs> that you get no chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so let's try. And these are 150 calories. Yeah, these are the double chocolate because the cookie itself is um, the cookie yeah. itself is chocolate and you have chocolate in it. Mm, they look good. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and take a bite. I took the first bite last time. Yeah, they want to fall apart on you. Does that kind of nut in there? That's what I was looking for because it feels like the texture of a nut. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a little? It, it actually says it's white chocolate. Oh, well, it tastes crunchy like a like a pecan or a almond or something. Like I'm that looking that. though, and I I do not see any nut in there at all huh. but i am just a crunchy chip it's it's yes it's it's you would think you don't taste a nut like right. you don't taste a An cashew or, cashew. or almond yeah. or anything like that but it's it's just a it's a very crispy texture i agree that's really good though i like the chocolate and you still get that buttery flavor too yes it doesn't taste like a pure shortbread cookie like the first one did um it does have that it does have a chocolate flavor to it it's not a deep chocolate uh but it is a very good cookie this is the um salted butterscotch sugar the chips look at that look at the amount of chips in the yeah bottom there's bottom. a lot and i'm and smelling it already oh yeah it smells really good i'm hoping it has a little bit of a saltier flavor like a caramel almost <laughs> yeah you just kind of got a lot of crumble all over the place That's a good buttery butterscotch flavor. And once again, you would probably think there's some kind of a nut in there. Yeah. It's because it's very, very crispy. It's the butterscotch chips. Mm -hmm. The butterscotch chips are actually crunchy butterscotch chips. Mm -hmm. And I get all saltiness for that. But you, yes, you can taste, you taste the butterscotch, you taste um, the salt. And it's really good with the shortbread. I like all three of these. I think they're a little expensive for what they are. That's very um, good. And I'm left with salt in my teeth. Mm -hmm. If you, um, if these had been, how much were they? Like $5? They were $5 a piece. $4.99. If they had been 
250 it probably would have been a better value mm -hmm. uh, because they're really expensive for that many cookies but i mean i guess if you're getting four servings out of the bag you're getting if you only eat the two right. um you're getting four servings and you get one of the servings you get to eat one the last cookie so you get three um i don't know i think they're way too expensive for what they are because you don't get that much of them right and we paid 4.99 each because we bought them at the fresh market the f items at the fresh market tend to be no more expensive more expensive so what i would like to know is have you seen these cookies anywhere else mm -hmm. and how much were they now i'm thinking if you've seen them at whole foods they're probably going to be just as expensive as they right. were at the fresh market so have you ever seen them at a run-of-the-mill grocery store like walmart or kroger or meyer or albertson's or wherever you know have you seen them at publix you know have you seen them at a, a typical grocery store um Did you have, bee, yeah you let know. us know yeah let us know because or ralph's someplace like that because uh yeah i've only seen them at the fresh market yeah, they're, um, they're very good if my favorite though i'll be honest with you Is are the regular, the regular the regular because they taste just like a very very buttery shortbread you don't taste the milk chocolate they like we said they may as well not have had it at all but i love the flavor of that shortbread yeah, mine's I, the I think it's delicious. mine's the salty butterscotch and then those then the double chocolate the not that there's anything wrong with any second. of them they're all three good though mm -hmm. even the chocolate it, they're all three they very very good so i will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching